So this area is not a flood zone right. and you're now dealing with a flood. That's correct. Okay, so you had no insurance. No insurance. And what does that mean for you? That means you're well, screwed. I'm screwed. I, I got two years left to pay off for my house. Two years to pay off a house that you can't sell now. That's it. And you have no insurance. No insurance. It lost everything completely. Everything. Clothes, every, you name it, everything in the house. We did. We wasn't able to save our vehicles. Because I, I put a stick in the yard and watched how the water was coming. So you gotta, you we gotta, gotta get, get, out get out of here. Out, the cars out of here. How long ago was that? Oh, we did it. That was last Saturday. That was the 14th. The 14th. Yes. Today's the 21st? First. 21st. So. Are make, you able to live in your home now? No. no. So, do you have friends, family? I'm with my son. Your son. He, he, he lived four houses down. He, he moved out a, a month ago. So, something told him to get out of here. Wow. <laughs> so, and, he's got a bigger house. And and he wasn't flooded? He wasn't flooded. Well, okay. we, well we went to his house. We got to his house about... Oh, about six o'clock, seven o'clock that night, and then we, I went outside at three thirty in the morning. Water was coming down his street like a Russian river. So I said, "Well, we can't stay here." So we left and we went to Seagan Lane and we ate breakfast at the IHOP. And my son works for the Olive Garden, so he went over there to use their landline and got us a hotel room where we stayed for three nights. When do you think you'll be able to get back into your home? I have no idea. I've been driving around this area, and every now and then I get hit with this smell. The sewage yeah, backed up. It, yeah, it did. And they just, they just put a new sewage line at the beginning of the year. Okay, so you don't have flood insurance. What is our government doing to help you? Well, I, I, all, I, all I've done is fill out the theme, the theme application. On the same, uh, let's see, that was a Louisiana hotel. I've been that, I've been Sunday, and they said we're getting back with me in about two weeks, and I haven't heard anything. And when do you think you will? I don't know that I will. You don't know that no, you will. I don't. Isn't it wonderful how our government takes it's, care it's of? It's terrible. It is. It's terrible. You've lost everything. That's what I tell uh, my wife. She, uh, it's, they said Obama was supposed to be coming to town tomorrow, but our government, our government wanted to cancel him to come. Why? I don't know. Your government here in Louisiana yeah, government. wanted to cancel Obama coming. Yeah. What about Trump? <laughs> I'm not a Trump fan. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're a Clinton fan. <laughs> well. We want to do evil, so I don't know what to go with. Well, I think we got to stop going with evil. Yeah. This is trash now. Oh, yeah. All of it everybody is just trash. Everybody lost everything. Everybody lost everything. And people have been gutting their homes? Yes. With everything that has been happening with our weather events I'm and the climate change, don't think that I'm crazy. If you do the research, you'll find out that they're lying a lot about the climate change. And we do have the technology yeah. to actually create, modify, intensify storms. Exactly. Hurricane Katrina was not headed towards the Gulf. It was took a sharp right. Yeah. Came right back. Yeah. And how long did it hang there? I think it was Hurricane Rita no. that actually split in two. It was. Yeah. People don't split remember that. In Split two. in yeah. two. I had videos on my original channel about that, wow. and I learned to do basic reading of satellites and radar. He's coming back. He's got two more bottles. Okay. He's so. Yeah. No, I mean he has to refill it. Okay. I actually documented that split. Yeah. The frequencies coming off of cell phone towers, coming out of satellites, coming off of Gwen towers, which are the really, um, yes. the really high. Yeah. Yes, the really high. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Microwave frequencies, all of that. They can actually hold rain in place. Funny how you guys are flooded and flooded and flooded. <laughs> and we never got water. This is this is a town that's not. You never got any rain. You got flooded because this, this town the is, overspill. Yeah, this this town is not really like O'Neill per se. The Amy. It's not too far. It's about two three miles. This town's this neighborhood's not known for flooding. It's never in a flood zone ever. So how many people do you think had flood insurance in this no. neighborhood? Uh, right. This is, this no, is all. They're, they're, this, they're our neighbor here does. Yeah. 
brother-in-law. And our brother-in-law. But that's the only two people I know on this street. It's not there, man. The rest of them have homeowners. Yeah, this, this, this neighborhood is not known for being flood in a flood zone. zone. It's not a low line area. This is a, for, you know, as long as I lived here, 30 plus years, it has never flooded. Right. Ever. I mean, maybe the drains backed up once or twice, but it has never gotten this bad from the A meet or from any river we live nearby. So this is... Well, how did I learn that? From YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody posted a video and it was heartbreaking because he was in his car and he and his wife, his wife was crying and couldn't even speak like your wife mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about, he, he purposely moved to a non-flood zone exactly. because he lost everything in Katrina. Right. So now he's lost everything again. Everything, yeah. And he doesn't have flood insurance. Right. And his house is destroyed. I do want to say that weather modification and geoengineering, if you don't, if you've not done any research on those terms. I, I've heard, I've heard the famous, um, was it the harp in in uh, well, Alaska. That that's it's one of true. Them. I, I, I know that is um, that it was kind of at first. I thought it was like, well, I mean, yeah, there's nice little you know, you know, like you know, antennas and all this looks like phone, you know, power lines. But it's, no, it's not. It's 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 harp. Um, they keep saying it's weather modification. Yeah, so I saw that too. It's it you know you you don't really you take it for granted, but then again, it's like, well, why are they there? Why, why isn't it a remote area away right. from the rest of the population? Why? And then they say that they shut it down. They have not shut it's it down. Still in, it's still in operation. No, all like right. you, but like you say, the weather is, is all over the map, mm -hmm. all over the United States. Right. Yeah. And But please do some research because that's the hardest conversation to have with people. Mm -hmm. When they say, act of God, Mother Nature. You know, I didn't want to say this to any of you down here, right. that this it may not Christian be, yeah, this is very Christian but yeah. it's also that when you say these things, people get hostile. People yeah. don't well, want to hear it. Well, they I, don't want to know the, the truth. The guy that at the hotel, he said, something's not right. I said, I agree with you. It's, it's, something's not right. It's, it's, and people yeah. are beginning to get it. Something's yeah. not right. I mean, so since, since, right. since Katrina, for me, since Katrina, something's not right. Since Gustav, usually Baton Rouge is not hit with a major hurricane. And then now this, this kind of questions, okay, what are we doing that are not the usual weather patterns? What are we, are we building over rivers that we shouldn't be building on? Are we d m pumping more gas into the air that shouldn't be already up there since I was a child? So, I mean, it's these questions you wonder. You really okay. wonder. Check out yeah. the technology. Check out what they can do. Yeah. They're actually pumping clouds from, oh. um, what are they called? I, I know what you're talking about. The remember, smokestacks, yeah, smokestacks, but not smokestacks. Yeah. But, but they look like smokestacks. But they yeah. can create, they can actually create a cloud with the technology that they have with these microwave frequencies. Right. All they need is a little band of water and they can, from the frequencies, no bring up humidity and create clouds, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. I did notice on my way down here, the clouds you know that are manufactured. <laughs> They're enormous, really, really low, and if you pay attention, they'll start changing color. Yeah, I know. Many I've of them, seen that. We, we noticed that. that. Right. We, we noticed that. So they get, you, you, get you begin to see it was pink, like pink or gold. yellow. You yeah, know, you see different things. Like right. when it comes closer to you, it's like pink. God, it's so great that to happened, talk that, to people that, who are like not that, asleep. That happened Saturday. <laughs> Thank you. That happened on the day that if you the storm were, came. Yeah. On the 14th. That, exactly. Say okay. that again. That happened on the day of the storm. It did. What happened on the day of the, the storm? The cloud turned color. We could see pink. We could see pink. Yellow. We could see that. Uh, when I came home at 4.30, my mom said, you have to come home. I was seeing yellow, then gray. Then white, then black. It's like as I get closer to home, it's like, why is it getting darker all of a sudden? Usually, it never gets dark until at least six o'clock. Now I'm seeing like nighttime weather, which wow. is unusual. Yeah. Around here, it's very unusual to see from white to black, just in seconds of me looking up. It's like this is this is unusual. This but is it something. Was, it was color right. though, because yeah. I, I was here. I, I, saw, I saw that. Yeah, so it's, it, it's very different to see these cloud formations just changing colors before your eyes and you're not realizing it and the next thing you know you're waist deep in water okay just just in the middle of the street where you're parking right now i was in waist deep water yeah. the mailbox waist deep waist yeah. deep right where you're parking well, right now is waist, waist deep it was waist deep 
How long did it stay like that? What, was it a couple of days? Yeah. About, about, about two, three days? days. About a couple of days. Yeah, Waist couple, deep, couple of days. A yeah, couple of days. Waist deep. I, mean, I was just coming out from my second job, and you know, it's just just waist deep. You know, you're, where you're parking is waist deep. And you got to the mailbox here, you know, it was still... Once you got further up, it's got to knee, then ankle. Then when we got to the front door, you know, there, there was no water, but once it got to, like, you know, 4.50, 5 o'clock, water just started to come in our home. Hmm. There's... A whole lot of people who know about weather modification, geoengineering, Mm -hmm. and they're on YouTube, and they're screaming about it, and they're wanting Americans to wake up because they have, they have actually turned weather into a weapon. Now, the floods, Ho Chi Minh Trail, Vietnam, man-made, created. It wasn't an act of God. So they've been using this technology, and now they're ramping it up, Mm -hmm. big time. So. 2011, that's when I started doing a lot of my research because mm-hmm. all of the flooding that was happening in Missouri, right? right? The prime farmland, and they're wanting to save the, the um, Army Corps of Engineers, right? Right. That was when they were talking about blowing the levees. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The governors took our federal government to court right. and said, don't blow these levees. You're going to be flooding out prime mm-hmm. farmland, exactly. acres millions of acres well they went ahead and did it because they had to save this little 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 town in Illinois that borders Missouri borders Missouri save this impoverished town they blew the levees saved that town but flooded out millions of acres of prime farmland farmers that was their livelihood homes gorgeous homes on these farms in their families for generations, That's right. destroyed by blowing those levees. That's right. Well, guess what happened? FEMA then steps in. Well, your home's destroyed, and you're not going to be able to sell it, but we'll give you 10000 He's okay. And who else stepped in? George Soros. Mm-hmm. George Soros. I remember him. Mm-hmm. Who bought a lot of that land in Missouri. So, now... You can call me a crazy conspiracy theorist, (laughs) or you can really kind of get that we are being so screwed by the elite, and they got this technology to destroy you guys, and I frankly, after hearing about what was happening in Baton Rouge, after documenting Katrina, Isaac, Rita, more flooding in between all of those, and I'm thinking... 2012, I came down to New Orleans, drove around there, yeah. right. and here I am. I had to get in my car, and I had to see what was happening. And you guys are getting it destroyed. Oh, yeah. And yeah. frankly, yeah. it's deliberate. Yeah. It's, it's deliberate. I mean, it's, it's yeah. you know, Something's you see... Right. Yeah. Something's not It's just too much. It's, it's not it's, right. It's just Something like too much right. rainfall. Baton Rouge never gets this much what, rainfall, what, ever. What, mm-hmm. what would be the purpose of, that, of the government doing that? That's, That's my question, yeah. Well, our country is being destroyed. Well, I know that. We, okay. Everyone knew that. So, once he got second term, everyone knew that. No. <laughs> um, you destroy an area. If you have the technology to create rain, to create floods, to create drought, like Walmart California. Uh, I, I got another one in the garage. Good. If you have the technology to create all of these weather events that really destroy business, destroy the local economies, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and people are forced to have to move to other areas you have the elite step in they buy these properties and land for pennies on a dollar pennies on a dollar and if you know anything about agenda 21 agenda 2030 Mm -hmm. united nations Mm -hmm. they actually do want to force people off their lands put them into um, high density areas. A lot of this is about controlling us, it's making us slaves yeah. for. And if you've ever heard New World Order, oh, yeah. Bush <laughs> Senior, oh, yeah. New World Order, Bush yeah. Junior, yeah, that right. Yeah, that's thunder. Yeah. That's thunder. That's thunder. Yeah. Okay. We, have, we look. At, we usually take this for granted. Thunder. Thunder for us. We usually take that for granted here in you know, Baton Rouge and Southeast. We we just like okay, just another rainstorm. Now, since everyone's got in their homes, everyone's like, we have to get a weather alert on the radio every 20 minutes now. Usually we're not scared of it. 
now it's like, okay, oh, what, yeah, what's we, going to happen? We, I could definitely you know? Now it goes today. through you. Through now like, it's like, holy shit. It's like, shit. repeat, it's repeat. Just Once you turn that radio on, I guarantee you there's a like, weather alert after that. Do you know how many weather alerts I've gotten I, since I got into I Mississippi like on my way every, here? Every 15 And what was I hearing? Flash floods, flash floods, flash floods, Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, and I'm like, okay. Baton Rouge Parish, you know, Ascension, Livingston. And my brother, he lives in Gonzales. And, uh... In where? Gonzales. About another town uh, up here, 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And the water goes south, so it goes back to that, that way. So he got flooded twice. He got flooded twice. <laughs> what, it drained one day, the next day he had three feet of water in it. So this has been so widespread. Oh, yeah. It's widespread. It's I mean, widespread. And you're not hearing it. It's 50 miles from here, Zachary. Zachary, yeah. They got then flooded. Central. Then Denham. Then, like, you know, other little towns. Prairieville, Gonzales. Gonzales. So it's not just Baton It's Rouge. not just us. There's other towns surrounding Baton Rouge that's affected by this. Well, you're not hearing any of that. Oh, no, we, None we of know it. it. They just don't want to report it. In fact, the state border was closed. How many days? What, a couple days now? Because of the water. Yeah. So that usually never happens. So as far as control, but you, you make a point. You do make a point on that. So, yeah. So I, your brother got flooded three times? That's yeah, his third time. He said he's going to try to get a grant to have his house jacked up. He's 70 years old. 70 years old. And he just got his house fixed by FEMA. It took a whole year. From the last flood? Yes. And he just got flooded again. Yeah, he did. He ain't been in the house six months. Yeah, and no. That's the shocking thing. He hasn't. That's a new house. Okay, so if you, if you see this as an act of God, you know, it's kind of like you throw up your hands and you go, well... Okay. This, this is it. But know. if you see this as a deliberate act by your own well, government... Well, like you say, what makes you look at that is, is too many things are happening like that. Too many consequences. Too many of the same things happening in the pattern. Yeah. Okay? Hurricanes coming in. You know, usually, is one thing, yeah. and then you got violence, and then you got... Yeah. yeah. Uh, hospitals. Closing, you got the riots. You got the drought in California. Exactly. Look. Uh, on and on and on. Exactly. I know. It's like, look, a couple of weeks ago, we had the Baton Rouge riots. Okay? Now, now it's Milwaukee. Then we have flooding. When this is this is this is all looks like okay. These dots are too close together now. This is like the time periods are too. It's like week by week by week. It's like making headlines. President yeah. Obama has the most that all the presidents put together of things happening. I know exactly. I know. Exactly. Weekly. Daily. Daily. The Allstate insurance adjuster <laughs> told me <laughs> actually that he was. I don't, did I tell you that he was walking through walking homes through with four water. to six feet? Through. This was Already. this morning. Already. Already. Was that yeah. I don't know. It's like he you, said you Baton Rouge, you know, so it could have like been anywhere. Four, four I said Baton Rouge. Later, actually. I mean, this is the water is gone now. Well, okay, the, 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 those houses would be somewhere that'd be close to the river. Yeah, but what know. he also said was that I should keep my doors closed and locked. Oh, I do. And yeah. have a gun at arm's He's length. Got I got one on me right now. Okay. Just, that's why I was like, I was like, I'm sorry to scare you there, but you have no. to be armed here because we have scavenger problems. You know, really? we never had that oh, in yeah. this in this town. I I have repeatedly had to almost draw my pistol just to keep them away from this home. Nice you talking know. to you. Really great talking okay. to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'll take it from here. But yeah, I, I had to take out my pistol repeatedly just to scare the scavengers off. And usually, I never. I'm a violent person. I never wear my this this gun. I only use it for. Reenacting. That's it. So World War II reenacting. Someone has to be evil guy, but but I never use it for real life situations, and now I'm using it for the first time that I don't want to do it, but I have to defend my home. And this. So is, they're just walking around. They're people just people are just walking around. What's going there's, on? There's some people that are walking around, but it's usually it's the guys. With um, usually it's, it's there's two patterns. There's one uh, we've been getting. Uh, well, we've been hearing, but it actually happened. There's two vans, white vans drive around the neighborhood taking refrigerators you know anything that's not nailed down they'll take it and throw it into the vans and you know and jet off two white vans with georgia plates and then the next are just your your regular scavengers with the beat up trucks or beat up car trailer right behind it all 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 the regular appliances we take for granted refrigerators microwaves ovens you know the things that are that weigh metal you can turn to the scrap yard right. which i understand right now is like a dollar fifty a pound or something higher they're taking that as a scrap heap and getting cashed in on people's misery. Right. And and you know you you just shake your head. It's like, hey, why can't you just volunteer and help us while you're wasting this gas? 
but that's what they're doing. They're taking, you know, fr you know, a refrigerator or, or, you know, another refrigerator without a door on it. They'll take that off. It just right in boldness and, and right in front of you at, at mid at midday at twelve o'clock in midday while people are here, they have the gall to do that. Yeah, and that, that burns me up. You know, it, it's. We're and they to, come out of state. Yeah, from out of state. state. The, most of them are were also, you afraid that I was? Yes. You, <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. I am no. Just, it's just you, I you, noticed yeah. that you were like really like. Yeah. All right, what are you doing? What are you doing? It, it, it's like. Usually, us Louisians, we're, we welcome anyone in our home. You know, we, we know we even have pistols on our sides, but since when all this happens, like, okay, is she a scavenger? Is she from the insurance? Is she, you know, from FEMA? You know, it, FEMA wouldn't even dare even walk into this neighborhood now. Just, you know, it's, you know, like, I'm, I'm armed. My uncle down the street's armed. My older brother that came here, to, you know, a couple days ago, he was armed with a 45. And, and we were just scared, like, you know, there's scavengers and there's people looting, you know, this is, this neighborhood's not known for looting, not known for, you know, dangerous activities, it's just, it, it, it breaks my heart to see this, it just, you know, and it burns me up as well, like, you could be out here helping us, but you just want to cash in on this great cash crop here right now. Right. So we, you we're, know? we're very, you know, very close-knit family, you know. And you know, we, we and you come like, together. Yeah, we come Good. together on like a crisis like this. We'll we'll come Good. together and we'll overcome. And you know, we. And what would happen if you weren't? What would happen to your father uh, we, if there was discord and <laughs> your, you all I said can, we could we could see with my twin brother. Uh, we'd all be separated. I have not seen my twin brother in days. He he's the one that's kind of distant. So he's somewhere in Perkins. I would be somewhere in a shelter. Same as my parents. They would be in a shelter. If we did not. Unite, you know, we all be shelters hopping from one shelter to another, like right. we have seen these past couple of days. You know, and water. you could have very well yeah. have been really destroyed. Exactly, exactly. This family, we wouldn't have anything left to our name, but we came together and we That's proved, great. you know, that hey, we're here, we're here to stay. That's great. You know. All right, look at that sky now. Yeah. Does that look like a normal sky to you? No. It does not, because it doesn't push the part ways of the sun. Usually it would cover up the sun by now, but it's just sitting there. That's not normal rain. And then there it goes again. White, gray. Then little shades of, you know, right. it's just white and gray. So how do you feel that, you know, being a uh, casualty of war? <laughs> Go ahead, I, I could get that. How do I feel? <laughs> Because uh, that's essentially... That's as, as usually in reenacting, I'm the medic. Um, usually I treat casualty war. I'm never one to be one. But since then, it's it's a different leaf that everyone says, oh, this, this will happen down the street. Oh, this is another town. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking that when everything that you live in, you love, that you made memories in, that your your mom and dad's sheltering you in, is torn away. Yeah. Just... just Seconds. Right. It's it's torn away. You're 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 panicking just you to see. You grew up here. Yeah. yeah. It's like that. That's my room. Corner left. That's that's my room. My bed is in the corner left. Right. And it, 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 it's just it breaks my heart to come back and now it's just it's a war zone. It's a construction zone. Like you're building a whole new house again. It it's just it's it breaks my heart. You know that we take things for granted. You know yeah. that it's one day there. It's like oh well, yeah we got Wi-Fi we got YouTube. Next day you don't have power. You don't know if you're gonna have food. You don't know. You know, is your car? Did your car make it? Did you know? You're not worried about paying bills. You're worried about your life, and that's what you know, life and family. That's the important things. I was on. I don't somewhere close to here, mm -hmm. and I saw a Red Cross truck <laughs> making announcements <laughs> of hot meals. Hot meals, good for you. Good for you, huh? You want some meals? No, thanks. No, I'm just documenting the mess here. Hi, sir. It is that. It is that. On your own. You're on your own. This is this is essentially a war zone, or like we like to call it, 
uh, around here to the Wild West of Louisiana. Wild this is, West. this is... And you're, sure. you're carrying... A, a gun I never carry. Yeah. The only time I carry this is in reenacting. That, that's it. You yeah. know, just, just, it's not real bullets. It's, we just fire, you know, shells that fire gunpowder and make a, make a sound, make a light, and that's it. And I, now I'm loading, I'm carrying live ammo. And I never do that. I don't want to hurt another human being, but if they have to come to my home, yeah. I'm the only one to defend it. Right. You know, and, and right. it tears my heart apart. I have to do this, but you have to take care of your own homestead. 